Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Leaked photo contains shocking clue about Vegas gunman's motive. See inside. So far, no motive has been revealed in the Las Vegas shooting that has taken 59 lives and has injured hundreds more. But a newly leaked picture of the gunman's hotel room suggests authorities may know more than they have revealed publicly. We already know that the killer's Mandalay Bay suite was filled with 23 guns, hundreds of rounds of ammunition and the dead body of shooter Stephen Paddock. Apparently, a note may have been left behind as well, according to the picture. The photo that sparked this theory, obtained by the Daily Star, shows Paddock's feet, several of his guns, and a pad of paper with a pin resting on top. Could that paper contain information about why Paddock decided to kill so many people? It's hard to say right now. No official comment has been made regarding the photo, but considering the lack of information currently available, rumors are beginning to circulate about what investigators do and do not know. This apparent detail is accompanied by information that Paddock's girlfriend is abroad and that Paddock allegedly transferred large sums of money out of the country before the attack. Until officials feel confident that they can reveal more information without impeding their investigation, we may not find out what's on that piece of paper. What do you think? Comment on the article and share. Whatever the paper contains, the dead body of Paddock is a reminder that evil may sometimes succeed but they never win in the end. On his way back from Puerto Rico, the president called Congress and asked for something massive. President Donald Trump flew to Puerto Rico today to survey the damage done by the horrible hurricanes recently, meet with the leaders, and lend a hand to the people of the island. The talks went well and many of the leaders left with an emboldened sense of confidence in the Trump administration. The president then hopped on Air Force One and headed back. And that's when the fun started. The president was so moved by what he saw on the island that he called on Congress to issue a new $29 billion disaster relief package. According to the Associated Press, the relief would include $16 billion for flood insurance claims and $13 billion in new recovery funds for hurricane victims. Essentially, the president is asking to go past the $30 billion spending cap. Trump also made it clear that while disaster relief is certainly expensive, in America we take care of our own and things like this we will always put the people first. I hate to tell you, Puerto Rico but you've thrown our budget a little out of whack because we spent a lot of money on Puerto Rico, and that's fine. We saved a lot of lives. And who can disagree? If it was my home life that had been destroyed, I would be glad to have a leader like Trump who genuinely cares and is willing to do what it takes to help. He promised to be the president of all Americans and today, he has delivered. Help share this out to tell Congress to get to work, now. What Trump just threw into this crowd in Puerto Rico has the media going insane. President Trump is a great president. He personally got involved today in handing out aid to the Puerto Ricans. He even launched trolls of toilet paper into the crowd one by one. Watch the video that is shocking the mainstream media. You can see that the Puerto Rican people really love our president in the video. Trump then turned to the crowd and said, there's a lot of love in this room. Today was the first time that the president has visited the island in two weeks. The media is now throwing a tantrum at Trump. Watch the video again from a different angle. The people absolutely love him. The media is going absolutely bananas trying to spin this one and is running the headline that Trump is just throwing paper towels at people. Moments after the president left Puerto Rico, San Juan mayor went and stabbed him in the back. 
Today President Trump flew all the way to Puerto Rico to survey the hurricane damage, talk to the local leaders and lend a hand to the people. Of course, there is one person in Puerto Rico who does not like the president one bit. San Juan Mayor Carmen Yule and Cruz The president actually went and personally met with Mayor Cruz during his outing. He met with many of the other leaders as well and heard their concerns. It seems that many of them loved President Trump and were happy with their meeting. Then there was the nasty thing Cruz said. I would hope that the President of the United States stops spouting out comments to hurt the people of Puerto Rico. Rather than Commander-in-Chief, he sort of becomes Miscommunicator-in-Chief. She also implied the best part of the meeting was the second half, after Trump had left to take care of other duties. It is worth mentioning that right before he little interview with CNN, President Trump had held a meeting with all of the leaders of Puerto Rico including herself and the governor. He managed to thank all the mayors and leaders during the meeting for their hard work except one, San Juan Mayor Ewell and Cruz. My guess is she was a little bit bitter about being left out. Plus she waited until after Trump had left to say all this. Apparently, she likes to act tough on camera but cannot back it up in person. Still. Maybe if she spent more time working with Trump, FEMA, and the military and less time interviewing on every TV network that will have her, we would be in better place by now. It's time for her to put her political ambitions aside and serve the people. Picks from inside the LV Shooters Hotel Room just released. What's inside is horrifying. Warning. You are about to see graphic content. New photos have just been released of the Las Vegas shooter's dead body on the floor after he committed suicide. In the photo, Stephen Paddock wears a brown long sleeve top, black slacks, loafers and black gloves, according to Daily Mail. Now, you can watch the chilling video below. The pics are at the end. The new photos have shown a horrifying scene as SWAT teams encountered the shooter's room and found him dead inside. The mass murderer also set up a camera outside the room to warn him when police arrived. Las Vegas have announced that he had 23 guns inside the hotel room. There were 19 guns found in his room with thousands of rounds of ammunition. The only thing next to his body were hundreds of spent shells, two assault rifles, and a hammer. Below is the graphic photo from the event. We had to blur it due to the nature of the photo. This man was a sicko. Let's give a thank you to all the heroes that went out and fought this monster. Share this if you are proud of our men in blue for fighting this monster. Instead of calling for gun control. Taylor Swift just did something incredible for police officers. Well, folks, the unthinkable has just happened. Just when you though all of Hollywood had gone and lost their minds, Taylor Swift steps up and shows them how Americans should act. You see, most of the major celebs out there use the horrible Las Vegas shooting as an opportunity to push gun control. Swift, on the other hand, decided to make it all about the hero cops who stopped the shooter. When Taylor Swift heard that cops had been shot and even killed in the line of duty, she decided to show her own local cops, some of whom were injured at the concert, love that is so rarely shown to police by sending the entire department bouquets of flowers. Even more to her credit, it was not just some lame PR stunt. In fact, Taylor Swift didn't let anyone know what she was doing. The news broke when the officer who was shot, LAPD intel analyst Camberley shared out the pictures of the bouquet she received from Swift. Isn't it a shame that more celebrities or even people, in general, cannot take a second to do an act of kindness for their local police? Let's see them all how it's done by sharing this out and leave a big old thank you for Taylor Swift. In Puerto Rico Trump looked into eyes of San Juan mayor and revealed who she really is. Trump just shook hands with San Juan's mayor after their war of words during the week. That's what our president does. 
he is a healer even though the media attacks him constantly. Take a look at the pic below and watch what Trump does to the San Juan mayor below. Extra extra. Read all about it. Here is another angle. Then our president congratulated everybody there on the job they have been doing. Hell yes. President Trump pulls no punches. Spread this all over your social media if you are proud of our president. Screw what the media about him. He is on the ground listening to everything we need to know about the crisis and not listening to the MSM. Keep fighting patriots.